Hi and welcome to Category 6 of Mini Program Challenges. In this category, we are going to go over nine different mini programs relating data structures in general. Now, I have dedicated different categories for lists, dictionaries, sets, tuples, but in this one, we are just going to go for them generally, right? So all the four different types of data structures in Python. Right now on the screen, you can see the timestamp for this lecture. And I'm going to give you five seconds in order to just go ahead and take a look at it. So let's go ahead and let's get started with the first question. So the first question asks, given two lists, Create a third list by picking odd index elements from the first list and even index elements from the second list. So, as usual, go ahead, pause the video, attempt the challenge, and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. So, how was the challenge? I'm sure you did great. So, first off, let's go ahead and let's copy these two lists and I'm going to put them there. Now, I'm going to create a list underscore three um, list and I'm going to initialize it to an empty list, right? Now, I'm going to say, now, we want to grab odd uh, elements, odd index elements from the first list. So, I'm going to say odd elements elements just to make it more understandable and i'm going to grab the list number one how can we grab the odd elements so the odd elements uh they are going to they have the index of one three five and these are the odd elements right so i'm going to say uh, i'm going to start from the element with the index of one and the step is going to be two and because i don't provide anything in between that's going to grab the entire uh, list for us and I'm going to say let's print the odd elements so this is going to print the odd elements now let's go ahead and let's grab we could do a test but we it's really not that difficult so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to move on so for the um, even elements I'm going to grab list two and for that we are going to start from zero it's going to go and then we are going to jump uh, the step is going to be two this is going to print for us the even elements. Now that we have the odd elements and the even elements in their specific um, element, uh, variables, I'm going to grab a list three, list three, and I'm going to say extend. Uh, let's go ahead and let's pass in odd elements, and I'm going to do extend even elements, and that's it. Even elements. There we go. And I, I, finally, I'm just going to print list three. Just save that. Let's go ahead and let's run it. So we have 6, 12, 18. That is 6, 12, and 18 uh, in the first list. And this is the second list. And we have a third list created with the odd and even indices from the first and second list. So that's it for the first question. Let's go ahead and let's move on to the question number two. So question number two says, given a list, remove the element at index four and add it to the second position at the end of the list. So go ahead, pause the video, and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. So how was the challenge? I'm sure you did great. First off, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this list, and I'm going to put it right here. Now, after we have our list, I'm going to say... Uh, let's grab the, um, I'm going to say target element just to make sure it is understandable. And I'm going to grab our list and I'm going to call the pop method on it. And I'm going to pass in position number four. Now let's print this list. Uh, this is going to print it for us. And then I'm going to grab the list and I'm going to insert uh, at the position of two the popped element or the target element uh, the target element i'm just going to insert it there and then we are going to take a look at it again i'm going to print the list again and finally what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add the element to the list at the end as well 
So it, uh, we, what we did, what we had to do was remove the element as uh, at position four, and then add it to the second position, and at the end of the list. So there is one more thing that we need to do. We need to add it at the end of the list. For that, I'm going to say list dot append, and I'm going to pass in target uh, element. That's it, and let's print the list. Let's save that. Let's go ahead and let's run it. So what do we have here? At position four, uh, we have our element, which is 11. This is the position four. Keep in mind that these are indices. So position four refers to the uh, index four, which actually is position five, right? So we have inserted that. We have uh, removed it from there. Uh, we have three print statements. We should be able to see three. There we go. We have added it at the position two, at the index two, and at the end of the list. There we go. So that's it for question number two. Let's move on to question number three. So question number three asks, um, why is there a four? It says, iterate a given list and count. So here is the list. I'm just going to copy the list. You could create any list, but just to give you some idea, I'm just going to say sample list, and I'm going to pass it right here. This is a list. And count the occurrences of each element and create a dictionary to show the count of each element. This is a cool one. Go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. Well, how was the challenge? I'm sure you did great. Now, we do have our sample list right here. And I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to put it right here. Now, we need to count the occurrence of each element and create a dictionary with that. So I'm going to say count, uh, element count, element, element count. This is going to be our dictionary. So I'm going to instantiate a new dictionary object. I'm going to say for item in sample list. This is going to iterate over all of the items. I'm going to say if, if um, item is in the count, uh, element count, if it is already in there, what do I want to do? I want to say that I want to increase the count of that element, right? So when I add all these elements to that dictionary, let's say uh, we, we have already added 11, right? So I want to add 11 again. That's why I'm going to add it. Uh, I'm going to increase the count. So I'm going to say uh, element count, and I'm going to provide the item as the key, and I'm going to use the augmented assignment operator, and I'm going to increase the count by one. In the else clause, it means that the item has not been added uh, in the um, uh, dictionary. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add it. So element count item is going to be the key, and I'm going to set it to 1. There we go. That's it. Let's just go ahead and let's print the element count dictionary. Let's go ahead and let's save it. There we go. So we got uh, 11 has been repeated two times, 345s. 18, 223, and 189. That's it for question number three. Moving on to question number four. So question number four says, uh, I'm going to say one, and I'm going to say two. So question number four uh, says, given uh, two lists of um, equal size, uh, create a Python set such that it, it shows the element from both lists in the pair. Right? So um, go ahead, pause the video, and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. All right, how was the challenge? I'm sure you did great. So let's move on to the solution. I'm going to copy these two lists. I'm going to put them right here. Now, we need to create a set, and that is going to contain these elements in pairs, all right? So what we are going to end up with is we are going to have pairs, like uh, two element pairs, uh, which are like tuples, within a set, right? So I'm going to create that. I'm going to say, uh, now, we have our list one, and we have our list two. I'm going to create a variable result, and I'm going to use the zip function. 
I'm going to pass in list one and I'm going to pass in list two. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to create a result set as well and I'm going to convert this result into a set and that's it. This is going to take care of the rest of the stuff. So I'm going to say if I, uh, this is result, oops, just remove this and say result. There we go. So if I say result set and let's take a look at it, this is what we got. So we got a list, uh, sorry, a set of tuple pairs of elements. So um, because sets are unordered, we have like, let's say we have two and four together. There we go, two and four together, three and nine together. Where is three and nine? There we go. All right. So that's it for question number um, question number four. Let's move on to question number five. So question number five says um, uh, following uh, giving given the following two sets, find the intersection and remove those elements from the first set. Uh, we have talked about a uh, set operation so uh, we have a, a few questions which are in those uh, area and i'm sure you know them so go ahead pause the video you're going to see my solution in three seconds so let's move on to the solution i'm going to grab the first set and the set number two i'm not going to change them to set one this is a valid python identifier so I'm going to say intersection, this is going to be equal to, I'm going to grab set one and I'm going to say dot intersection and I'm going to pass in set two, right? And then we could go ahead and we could take a look at the intersection elements, so intersection. And then what we need to do is we need to remove them from the first set. We have found the intersection or the intersected elements, we need to remove them. So I'm going to say for item in uh, intersection, uh, grab the set number one and then remove each item within the intersection. So they're removed from the set one. Uh, we could also take a look at the set one. Just save that. Let's go ahead and let's run it. So what do we have? We have uh, 57, 83, and 29 in the first set which are um, uh, which are intersected. It means that they are also available in set 2, 29, and we also have 83, right? And they are removed from the first set, each of those elements. That's it for question number 6. Let's, uh, sorry, 5. Let's move on to question number 6. Question number 6 says, uh, given two sets, check if one set is a subset or superset of another set. If the subset is found, delete all elements from that set. Cool, right? So go ahead, pause the video, and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. Let's dive into the solution. I'm sure you did great. These are very, very rudimentary uh, mini programs. So we have our first set, we have our second set, and in here, what I'm going to do is First, let's check if one set is the superset of the other set. So we are going to have a lot of print statements. I'm going to say uh, first set. Let's just go with the words. First set uh, is a subset of uh, the second set. And we're going to return true or false. So I'm going to grab first set and I'm going to say dot is subset and then i'm going to pass in the second second set oops second set this is going to return either true or false then i'm going to say second set let me just lowercase this s and this one now in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say second set is a subset of the first set and then I'm going to grab this and I'm going to say second uh, subset, second set dot is a subset. And then we are going to change the second to first. So basically we are checking those, right? And then I'm going to do the same thing for superset. So we know which one is the superset, which one is the subset. And I'm going to say is super, um, is super this part. 
and you know what I'm just gonna provide the uh, uh, cursor there so I'm gonna delete these and I'm gonna say a super set this is the um, this is the method I kind of lost the word there so that's the method and this is gonna find for us either the subset or the superset so I'm gonna say superset right let's go ahead and let's run this so you can see that the first set is the subset of the uh, second set second set is not the subset of the first set first set is the superset uh, is not the superset but so in conclusion first set is the subset of the second set and the second set is a superset of the first set now what was the second part the second part said if the subset is found delete all elements from that set now we know which one is subset right so we are going to say f uh, first set dot is subset second set if this part is true if this part is true what do I want to do I want to grab the first set and I want to say clear which is going to clear all the elements right this is the first thing that we need to do and f the second set dot as um, subset is subset first set then I want to remove the second list the second set so let's just say clear and that's it and finally we could print the first set and we could also print the second set that's it so all right let's save this again let's go ahead and let's run it again there we go so the first one uh, which is the first list it has been completely uh, cleared out but the second set is uh, as it is so that was a easy but long one let's move on to question number seven so in question number seven we have uh, uh, it says iterate over it says iterate over um, iterate a given list and check if a given element already exists in a dictionary as a keys value if not delete it from the list very simple right so go ahead pause the video you're going to see my solution after three seconds so how was the challenge how was the mini program I'm sure you did great first off let's go ahead and let's uh, copy these put them here and I'm just gonna fix this J O H and there we go so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say let's grab the roll number and I'm gonna select all the elements from that roll number and then I'm gonna using a uh, list comprehension expression we are gonna check for those all right so uh, what I'm going to do here is now what we needed to do is we needed to check if a given element already exists as a value uh, so if the, here is the 47 when we have that 47 here what do we need to do is uh, we need to uh, delete it from the list right so we need to delete that element if it exists in the dictionary so I'm gonna say uh, item for item in roll number if item in sample dic um, sample dictionary dot values there we go so I want to find the item in the roll number if it is available in the sample dictionary as a value keep that in mind I haven't said keys I've said value so it has to be it has to match this condition it has to be a value of any key in that dictionary and now if I say print roll number we could also print it beforehand roll number let's go ahead and let's save that so previously it was this long now it is this short very cool stuff let's move on to question number eight so in question number eight we have uh, a dictionary and we need to get all values from the dictionary and add them to a list but we should not add duplicates so as usual go ahead pause the video and you're going to see my solution after three seconds I am sure you did great so let's just dive into the solution now we need to find um, all the values which are repetitive right 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a speed list and I'm going to initialize it to a list because we, we need to grab all the values from the dictionary, add them to a list, except the repetitive ones, except the duplicates. So I'm going to say for item, here comes the uh, condition. So first we need to iterate over that dictionary's values, right? So I'm going to say for item n speed, where are the values dot values? This is going to give us the values. This is going to return an iterable. I'm going to say if item is not in the speed list, then go ahead and add it to the speed list. So I'm going to say speed list dot. So there is only one condition. And that condition is if the item is not already added. If it is added, we don't want to add it again. If it is not, just go ahead and add it there. Let's take a look at the speed list. Save that. Go ahead and run it. Uh, so there we go. At the end, we are ended up in here. We are right here. So it checks and it, it creates a list each time. And then we grab it and the final iteration is going to show us that we don't basically have repetitive lists. The reason that this one has been repeated three times is because these are the repetitive repetitions, the duplicates. That's why they did not make any changes in the list. So here is our list. Oh, let's just, that was the issue. We should end up with just one list. There we go. The print statement was inside the for loop. I'm sure you got that, right? Uh, let's move on to question number nine. Question number nine says, uh, uh, remove duplicates from a list and create a tuple and find the minimum and maximum number. So there are like four things that you should do. Pause the video, attempt the uh, challenge, and I'm sure you're going to do great. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. All right, let's move on to the solution. I'm going to say, I'm going to create a, um, uh, we have, um, you know what, I'm going to create a list. I'm just going to call it list. And I'm going to say list. And I'm going to use the set function. And I'm going to provide our list in here. And I'm going to say sample list. Let's just print this and let's see what this returns. I mean, I do convert it to a set and then I convert it to a list again. All right. So what did the, it, it asked. Uh, remove the um, duplicate from a list and create a tuple. So first, what we need to do is we need to remove the uh, duplicates from the list. I'm not sure uh, why have I done the set. Let's just move on. Let's see. So I'm going to grab and I'm going to grab the list. Just run that. Print list. Uh, it gives us 66. 99, 41, 45, 87, 94. So it gives us unique values, right? And um, hmm. Oh, oh, I just remember. Uh, set, if you remember uh, from our previous chapters when we talked about data structures, uh, sets are actually unique sets, they have unique elements. So when you convert something to a set, for example, this list, when we convert it to a set, the reason that I converted it back to a list was because I want to create a tuple from that list, right? I don't want to create a tuple from a set. The set, because sets, they only have uh, uh, unique elements. They don't have, they remove the duplicate elements by default. So we don't need to do any for loop or any if condition. All right, let's create the tuple. It, it just, uh, just needed to think about that for a second. Let's create a tuple and I'm going to call it, um, I'm going to pass in the list because that has the unique elements. And I'm going to take a look at the, uh, the tuple. And there we go. So we have a list and then we have a tuple. Uh, let's go ahead and let's find the minimum and the maximum. So I'm going to say uh, minimum, mini, mini, min, just min. And then I'm going to say min function and let's pass in the tuple. This is going to find the minimum value for us, and this is going to find the maximum value for us. So if I grab that, do this, and I'm going to do max. There we go. Just lowercase the method. Let's go ahead and let's save that. 
So the minimum is 41, the maximum is 99. That's it for this category of challenges, mini programs. See you in the next one.